All right, welcome to the Math 7 EMC 2 CFA. So EMC it stands for Essential Math Concept, number two. So it's like our second unit. And CFA stands for Common Formative Assessment. So this is something that our seventh grade classes are all going to do. And we're making sure that this includes the most important parts of this unit. So uh, let's get started. Uh, you're not here to hear me babble. Uh, indicate yes or no. So Devin had $117 in his bank account. He made six withdrawals of $17 each. Choose true or false for each statement. Uh, well, you know, let's let's first put this together here. He had uh, $117. So $117. And uh, he made six withdrawals. So... Uh, that would be, you have to subtract six withdrawals of $17 each. So you have to multiply six times 17, right? So uh, let me do that over here. So 17 times six is uh, 42, that's $102. So uh, that would be 117 minus $102. What is that? That's uh, $15? So, so we have the full uh, idea here. So the change in Devin's balance is negative $102. Yes, it changed by $102 in the negative direction. It went down. So that would be yeah, uh, true, right? True. Uh, next, the account balance is equal to negative 6 times 17 plus 117 dollars you know what that's exactly what i think it would be what they did here is they have it switched they have we have 117 right here and we have negative 6 times 17 right here it's just the orders just turned around but you would still get the same thing so that is true as well and let's see now devin now has a negative balance well the balance is what the money that you have left over in the end. He still had fifteen dollars. He didn't have an. He didn't go over the amount that he had. He still has a positive amount. So this would be false. So there you go. True, true, and false. And let's see here. Um. We have uh, Jim stands on a dock uh, that is five and a half, five and a fourth feet above the lake surface. He dives down ten and a half feet below the dock. What is Jim's vertical location relative to the lake surface? Let's see. Uh, let's draw a little picture here. So what we have is let's see. I'm going to use white. I like using white on the black. So um, he stands on a dock that's five and a half. So here is the dock, and that dock is above. Oops, that dock is above the water right there, the surface of the water. It's five and one fourth feet. Okay, he dives down ten and a half feet below the dock. So he dives. So the red's going to be the dive part. He dives from here all the way down uh, that part is ten and one half feet so the question is what is uh, his his um, location relative to the lake surface so how f how far down did he go below the surface of the lake oops sorry so um, the, and I think that well what you would do is you would take uh, 10 and a half, 10 and one half, and you would subtract five and one fourth. Whoops, sorry, get that up, five and one fourth. So, uh, I think that what I would probably do is I would move this here and Let's see, I'm trying to think about how, yeah, I would do this. I would do, um, uh, you could do 10 minus 5, that's 5. And then you have to know what 1 half minus 1 fourth is. 
Now, you got to have common denominators, so usually that's how it's done. There's, there's other ways you could do it, but you would need, well, here's one way of doing it. You might already know what one half minus a fourth is, but in my class, what we were doing is this. We took the one half and the one fourth, and you multiply it, right? Uh, one times one is one, four times one is four, one times two is two, four times two is eight. And you, uh, you subtract going down, so four minus two is two, and then it's all over eight, so two eighths. So it's five and two eighths. Now hopefully you know how to simplify, and although it doesn't say you got to simplify in this problem, but uh, yeah, you can do 5 and 2 eighths is equal to 5 and 1 fourth. I'm sure either answer is okay, but it would be 5 and 1 fourth would be that expected answer. Okay, next. Ah, Tammy. Tammy built 3 sevenths of a shed on Monday, 1 third of a shed on Tuesday. Tammy finished the rest of the building on Wednesday. How much of the shed did she build on Wednesday? Well, let's add up these two fractions first to see how much did she actually do. So 3 sevenths, 3 sevenths, and uh, what did she do? Oh, and 1 third, plus 1 third. Now we can use that same kind of trick I was saying. You just need to put the 3 sevenths here and the 1 third here. And 3 times 1 is 3, uh, 3 times 3 is 9. 7 times 1 is 7, and 7 times 3 is 21. And then you got to make sure that you uh, subtract going down like that. 9 minus 7, that's just uh, 2 over that 21 right there, 2 over 21. So she built that much, which is pretty crazy. Oh, I, I subtracted. Why would I subtract? I, I was wondering, like two out of twenty-one. That is, that's not very much. No, here it, you actually have you have to add them, right? I subtracted them. So nine plus seven is sixteen. So sixteen out of twenty-one. That's how much she built. But when she's done, she's built twenty-one. She built the whole thing. So one would be the whole shed. 1 is the same thing as 21 over 21, isn't it? Because 21 divided by 21 is 1. Why did I pick 21? Because I'm looking at that denominator right there. So if this is the whole thing, and you subtract what she's done, then you'll have what she did on Wednesday. So, uh, well, this is easy. 21 minus 16 is just 5 out of 21. She did five, she built 5 21sts of the shed on Wednesday. That's the answer. Okay. The last question is this one here. Uh, a website sells used comic books. The table shows how the price of Rudy Lemur, volume 12, has changed over the last four months. The price started at 613. What is the current price? Explain how you know the answer is reasonable. Hmm. Okay, so it started at 613. So let's say it started at 6.13. And then it changed 19 cents. So I'll add 19 cents. And that would be $6.32. And then on the next, next month, it went up three cents, so 0 0.03. That's a five, three, six dollars, 35 cents. And then went up another 28 cents. That's 13, six, six dollars, 63 cents. And then it went up, up another 51 cents. We gotta line up those decimals. So that's a four, one, seven point one four. It So, it's what is the current price? It's seven dollars fourteen cents is the uh, current price. How do I know that it's reasonable? Hmm. Well, I would estimate. You know, if I started at six thirteen, and it looks like eh, I might go by tens. Let me just estimate, right? 
613 is pretty close to six dollars ten cents I could do this quickly in my head 19 cents is pretty close to 20 cents so if I just kind of do it in my head and I'm thinking oh plus another 20 cents and then plus three cents forget about it I won't even add that 28 cents is pretty close to 30 just kind of making them round numbers here 30 cents and then 51 cents is pretty close to 50 cents oops it's pretty close to 50 cents then what is this this is um I mean this is a full dollar isn't it that's a full dollar a full dollar plus the six dollars and ten cents would make it seven dollars ten cents so when you're talking about explaining yourself this is what I would say in, in explaining myself I would say my answer of seven dollars fourteen cents let me erase this so I have some room here my answer of uh, seven dollars oops of seven dollars fourteen cents is reasonable because uh, when I estimated the answer I got uh, seven dollars ten cents which is close enough to see that my answer uh, was right. So there you go. There's a breakdown of each of these problems and uh, how you doing? And if you want some extra practice, link in the description for some extra practice versions of these six questions. All right. There you go. Thanks for watching.